Hello folks, this is Aitan Acha from InspireToWise.com and today we are going to talk about the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G processor. It is one with integrated Radeon graphics. So this is an APU from AMD and don't forget to subscribe to InspireToWise so that you get more tech videos from us in the near future and we are going to publish a lot of them. Let's start with the unboxing process. Inside the box, the first thing that you will find is the processor itself. You get documentation for this one along with some stickers and all of that stuff but that's not something which you should pay your attention to you should pay your attention to the fact that this time around they don't have an rgb cooler inside the box and it's just a plain wraith cooler so that's something which i feel is a serious downgrade cutting costs by amd i don't personally like it the test pinch that we used was one with the aorus b550 pro motherboard and we installed the cpu on that motherboard we used up to 16 gigabytes of ram installed the stock cooler along with thermal paste on this one and after all of those shenanigans we also had a PCI Express 4 SSD we used a motherboard which allowed us to overclock the RAM that we had so our RAM was running at 3733 megahertz so the performance that you are getting is something which is like top of the line performance for this processor the Ryzen 5 5600G is based on 7 nanometer technology it goes up to a maximum core clock speed of 4.4 gigahertz this one has 7 GPU cores, the base clock is 3.9 GHz, you get a L3 cache of up to 16 MB, an L2 cache of 3 MB and overall I feel it's a great processor as it's an unlocked one. The RAM we were using was a DDR4 dual channel RAM and as we already told you we were running it at a high clock speed. The default total power draw for this one is around 65 watts and it has 6 cores and 12 threads. So this is what our test bench looked like and it took some time for us to set it all up. Then we ran a lot of tests, we ran a lot of benchmarks, we did a lot of gaming and everything that we got to know about it was pretty damn good. Long story short, the 5600G is a great processor and if you compare it to Intel's i5 lineup in the 11th generation, I would say pick this one up anytime. We tested a lot of games. This is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. As you can see, we were running it on 1080p medium settings and it was able to play it really nicely. We got around 177.14 FPS average while playing this game. We also ran Fortnite on 1080p medium settings and 1080p medium settings Fortnite was playable. We got an average FPS of around 80 to 85 frames per second for a long duration of time and it was perfectly playable and if you are somebody who's going to drop the resolution a little bit more, maybe the experience would be even better. But 1080p medium settings for Fortnite works perfectly fine and I was able to get almost 10 kills while doing this. After that we played Forza. We ran Forza on 1080p and low settings and got an average of 60 FPS that was good, playable enough. And if you are going to race on a game like this, you will definitely feel that it's good enough for moderate NATP gaming. If you are somebody who is going to game a lot, you can later on pair the 5600G with a dedicated GPU and get great performance. This is the results for Forza and then we ran Apex Legends and Apex Legends also ran pretty good but with 1080p low settings because this is slightly heavier game than compared to other titles that we played. And after that we ran Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk was barely playable on 1080p so later on we switched it to 720p and low settings and at 720p and low we got something around 40 fps, 35 to 40, 40 fps which was okay which was playable to some degree but not really that great. And similarly in Apex Legends it was more than playable we got a good FPS with 1080p and low settings. So if you're somebody who's going to game a lot and if you don't have the budget to buy a dedicated GPU right now, I would suggest buy the 5600G now. Later on you can disable its internal GPU and pair it with a graphic card of your choice because the single core performance for this one is pretty good. As you can see all of the benchmark scores showed to me that compared to the 5600X there's a slight decrease in performance but if you disable the iGPU maybe the things even out. And even with handbrake encoding when we were using all of its 12 threads, it was pretty good for converting really heavy files with ease. The Cinebench scores also show you that when compared to 11th generation Intel i5 processors, this one is a better pick any day. Even in terms of power efficiency, this draws lesser power compared to its Intel counterparts for similar kind of performance. And the kind of performance that this one gives is quite good in a lot of cases. If you're going to buy the 5700G, the gains would be good, but they are marginal compared to this one. And for a more budget friendly option, I guess 
the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G hits the mark on the head. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to Inspired Rise for more awesome tech reviews like this one. We will come out with more videos in the near future. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And guys, no matter what you do, stay Inspired Rise.